So this is Gigi Hadid. And she says she's Palestinian and she is anti-violence in Israel. Her exact quote is, while I have hopes and dreams for the Palestinians, none of them include the harm of a Jewish person. Isn't she beautiful? Gorgeous. And so this is her with her beautiful wavy long hair. She's on the cover of many fashion magazines. And here she is again, and there she is with her ish partner. Okay, a little curious, isn't it? And here is the model, Michaela Berku, an Israelite model. Here she is again, famous model, supermodel from the 1980s. And there she is again, Bella Merku. Isn't she absolutely beautiful? So how come she looks exactly like Gigi Hadid? How come she looks exactly like Gigi Hadid? Let's get into it. What did the creator say to Israel? Are you not like the children of Ethiopia to me? O oh, children of Israel, saith Yahuwah, did I not bring up Israel from the land of Egypt, the Philistines from Kaftar, and the Syrians from Kerr? Now remember, David slew Goliath, the Philistine, the Palestinian. O oh, Zion, I have made thee as a giant's sword. Why do these women look the same? If they're arch enemies, and one is of the seed of Israel, and the other is of the seed of the Philistines. Let's continue. Well, the Greeks are supposed to be the Philistines. They're a mixture of Japheth and the Canaanite Hamites and a little bit of Edom. Let's continue. So the true land of Greece is really here in the West. You can go and look at mud flood videos to confirm this, but you can see these very Greek statues and buildings here in North America. Now, very clearly you'll remember there was some crazy stuff going on in Waco, Texas a long time ago. And you can see right beside here to the right of it, it says that there is a place called Philistine or Palestine right in Texas. Confirming once again, this is the land of the Philistines. And when we look here, at what it says, it says that Javon was the Ionians, known uh, as Greece to the Orientals. Now that was a biblical reference. Now we can find in Ohio, USA, another Philistine city called Palestine. Do you remember when there was that crazy disaster where there was a chemical spill? Well, that was right in Philistine, America, right in Ohio. Also, when we research, we find most scholars agree that the Philistines were of Greek origin and that they came from Crete and the rest of the Aegean islands or more generally modern day Greece. Now keep in mind, America and Canada are called an Isle of the Sea and that also inc includes Greenland is called an Isle of the Sea, the land of Japheth, all right? Now, what it says here in Isaiah, it says they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines and return to their land. When Israel does the second exodus, the Philistines will fly them in planes back to their land. Ptolemy is a derivative of the word Ptolemy or Bar Ptolemy. So Bar means son, so a son of Ptolemy. And these are the Greeks. Ptolemy Notice a similarity to Talmud and his brothers, the Nephilim, Talmi, Ahiman, Sheshai were Nephilim, Nephilim, three sons of Anna, who Caleb and the spies saw in Mount Hebron. So Caleb, Joshua and Caleb saw them as Anunnaki in the land. Now, the king of Gersher, his daughter Makkah was wife to David, king of Israel, the mother of Tamar and Absalom, who sought to steal David's kingdom and did it. According to Deuteronomy, these are the Philistines who were the giants, Og of Bashan. 
This is confirmed when we look at the book American Antiquities, which says, my observations led me still several years ago to the conclusion that the two great continents, Asia and America, were peopled by similar races of men and that America, as well as Asia, had its Tartars in the North and Malays in the South. America has had her Scythians, her Alans, her Huns, but there has been no historian to record their formidable migrations and their barbarous achievement. So Bartholomew, these are the descendants of the giants, the Philistines. Esau Edom mixes in with Chittim. Asher's verse, chapter 61, verse 12. When Zippo, son of Aliphaz, saw that Aegeus despaired of going forth to battle with the Egyptians, Zippo fled from Aegeus from Africa and went and came unto Chittim. And Chittim resolved, and they made Zepho king over them. All right, and if we go further down here, Genesis 26 and 34 lists the wives of Esau. Judith, daughter of Beri, the Hittite, also Basemath, daughter of Elon, the Hittite. So this is the Hittite Canaanite line of the Greeks mixing in with Esau, Edom. So when we study the scripture, quite, quite clearly we see Japheth, the Greek, mixed in with the Hittite Philistines, and Esau, Edom did too. So the Greeks are a mix of all three, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And these three were the arch enemies of Israel. Yah said, Edom spoiled his seed, but Israel looked distinctly different. The Sidonians were the firstborn son of Canaan, and Heth was the secondborn son. So Cyprus was known as Chittim, and the Greeks of the Asiatic con continent were known as the Ionians. So these are the Greeks. On the side of their mother, they were descendants of Japheth the Gentiles, okay? Javan, one of the sons of Japheth. So on their female side, mother's line, they were Gentiles, Japheth. On their father's line, they were Heth or Chittim, because Heth was also known as the Hittites or Chittites, okay? So we see Heth or Chittim. And Chittim, the plural form of the word is Chittim or Hittites. The singular number is Hittite or Chittite. Now they were known as seafaring people, according to Zechariah 9 and 3. Tyrus built strongholds for herself and heaped up silver and dust and gathered gold of the mire of the ways. So that is France and Black Rock. I've already gone over this in other teachings. Yahuwah is going to take them as a possession and consume them with fire. Ashkelon shall see and fear. Gaza also shall be greatly pained at Kron, for she is ashamed at her trespass, and the king shall perish from Gaza, and Ashkelon shall not be inhabited. The aliens shall dwell in Azotus, and I will bring down the pride of the Philistines. This is what's happening right now to France. And we all know very well that the seat of Satan is actually in Germany, and that Black Rock, Switzerland, and France are all connected to Germany, the World Bank, everything, because the seat of Satan was moved from Pergamum, Turkey, to Germany. I know thy works, even where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, thou holdest fast my name, and have not denied my faith, even those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. Okay, so Pergamum was at the Black Sea, and when they moved the seat of Satan, this thing in the picture, they moved it to Germany. So that's, that's where the seat is now. According to this guy, Dr. Michael Brown, the Ish people say that they called themselves Ashkenaz, but they were not Ashkenaz. Why? Because Gomer mixed in with the Hittites, right? We already proved that with that last genealogy. But... Also, here is the prophecy of Esau mixing in with the Horites. Jasher 32 and 7. Messengers went to Esau and found him on the borders of the land of Edom, going towards Jacob with 400 men and children of Mount Seir 
the Horite were standing with drawn swords. So they were about to confront Jacob when he returned to his land. And he was there with a bunch of Horites from Mount Seir, Edom. Deuteronomy 2 and 12. The Horims dwelt in Seir before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them when they had destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their stead, as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which Yahuwah gave unto him. So in other words, Edom ran out the Horites. Jasher 57, okay? Came to pass after the battle, the children of Esau turned back home, came unto Seir, and the children of Esau slew those that remained in the land of the children of Seir, and they slew also their wives and little ones and left not a soul alive, except 50 young lads and damsels, whom they suffered to live, and the children of Esau did not put them to death, and the lads became their slaves, and the damsels they took for wives. And the children of Esau dwelt in Seir, in the place of the children of Seir, and they inherited their land and took possession of it. So the Horites are the Chittim of Mount Seir, and that's who those who call themselves Israel today are. Genesis 36 and 20. These are the sons of Seir, the Horite who inhabited the land, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, and Anna. Anna means Anunnaki. And we already went over the fact that Alabama the dot was the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zibion, the Hivite. Okay, and here's some pictures of some people who call themselves Seir and who call themselves Horus, Harris, Horite. And this isn't anything against anybody, because if you have Yahusha Hamashiach, you are saved no matter who you are. Hallelujah. But this gives you an idea who the enemies of Israel are, but most important, who Israel is not, so you can know who Israel is, so that you can be saved and return to the right land with the right people. So we have Ed Harris here, Anthony Horowitz, who is a best-selling author, Vladimir Horowitz, the famous poet, you have Fran Horowitz, the chief executive at Abercrombie & Fitch. You have Jorn Horowitz, yeah, La La Land's producer, showrunner. Zach Horowitz, new Latin focused podcast company. You guys are understanding what I'm showing you. TED Talk speaker, Jason Horowitz. Jason Horowitz is the Rome Chief Bureau of the Times covering Italy, the Vatican, and Greece. Michael Horowitz, Wikidata. I'm guessing he's an Austrian journalist, but you see communications control of media, right? A lot of Horowitz's keep law school, Bernard College. Chief Executives, Mastermind of Sports, some kind of sports broadcasting, sports TV shouting. People will know who these people are. These are the Horites. Yeah, that gives you an idea. Cryptocurrency. And so these are the people who say they are J-E-W-S. The Horites, a lot of them. So that is why Gigi Hadid and Michael Berku look almost identical. They're both Canaanites. They're both Hittites mixed with a little bit of Edom, a little bit of Japheth, and a lot of Canaan to get that blonde hair. So is that the real people? Is that the real land? Is that the real war of Gog and Magog against Israel? Or are we merely experiencing the four carpenters right now attacking the true land? Go to intoalltruth.net to learn more about the white giants and Canaanites.